I am Fahad, a little average kid who's trying to win this case against water fluoridation. City of Windsor, Ontario, has put back fluoride into the tap water. Council voted 8 to 3 in 2013 to remove it again, 8 to 3 to only put it back some six months ago. It was comforting to know that our mayor, Drew Dilkin, voted against it. The mayor, Drew Dilkin, said fluoride is one tool for good oral health. We all know that, but it's not the only tool. I wish I could say most Canadians are unaware of the dangers of ingesting fluoride. But unfortunately, most dentists, physicians, and scientists are even unaware of the dangers of fluoride and water fluoridation. I am too little to take it on with the big old pharma, but not too young to understand the damages of it and to tell you what fluoride does. According to my studies, and you can Google those studies or get a book in your local library, fluoride is more poisonous than lead and just slightly less poisonous than arsenic. It is a poison that accumulates in bones over the years. It causes amyloid plaque built up in the brain directly related to alzheimer dementia bone problems skin problems joint problems hair loss eye problems thyroid problems cancer kidney diseases liver diseases stomach problems digestion and any other problem modern human suffers it's toxic and has no use from anything by humans back in the 1800s they used sodium fluoride to make rat poison and roach killer it's poison folks The first widespread commercial use of fluoride was for the eradication of vermin. Since the 1800s, sodium fluoride has been a key ingredient in rat poison and insecticides. These products were commonly used in and around the home to kill lice, mice, rats, and insects. Fluoride proved to be not only a good way to kill rodents, but also an effective way to kill a man. As the use of fluoride became more popular, reports began flooding in of people dying from ingesting this toxic substance. Headlines screamed, Roach poisoned in pancakes kills 11 men. Rancher takes dose of poison by mistake. Article after article, all having the same tragic endings, proving that sodium fluoride can and does indeed. That's prosper. why we don't drink fluoride. Fluoride is poison and I don't, and we kids do not like to drink fluoride. But just because we've been doing something 50 years doesn't necessarily mean that it's right. Uh, public health officials knew then what they know now. Would we have fluoride? Would it be added to our drinking water? Well, today a coalition of scientists, dentists and doctors are taking action to stop fluoridation until it is proven safe. There would this be this book that I would like you to read. It's called The Case Against Fluoridation. And in this book, there were three scientists who wrote it. And one of the scientists was a doctor. And there was, there's 1,200 researchers in this book. Mr. Mayor, we kids, we need, we can't just keep drinking this poison water with fluoride in it. We need our, the most important thing about us is our health because we are the future of Canada. We need to protect so we can it. make it even greater.